So what uh, we are going to do here is uh, we'll see how uh, we import an image uh, into the next hidden screen images and uh, scale it so that uh, you know, we are able to use that uh, to create a zone and uh, start the zone. Uh, what I'm going to do is, in order to uh, get the classic image presentation, uh, I will uh, usually go with uh, Google Earth. Uh, this is because for two reasons. You know, first, uh, uh, I'm able to you know, find out and get a good image of a location. Uh, I don't have a good image, a good static image for a lot of lot of uh, places in Big Maps. So I use uh, Google Maps. I uh, use Google Earth so that I'm able to download the image. And uh, second thing, uh, I'm also able to uh, you know, go and measure the distance I want. Um, you, know, you could do this in Google Maps as well. Uh, in the browser, you don't have to go and use Google Earth. But uh, sometimes I would also uh, like to you know, take a look at the area. This is that, so I prefer to go Google Earth. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to download an image of a site in Google Earth and then we will import that into the image. And we'll see how uh, we're going to uh, scale this. Right. I'm going to open uh, Google Earth. This is the background you see. What I've done is I've uh, downloaded, I've, I've uh, uh, selected the Cochin International Airport. What I'm going to do is probably not uh, use Cochin International Airport for now. I'm going to go for the As you can see, this is not a big airport, but let's assume that uh, we are going to uh, probably build uh, something over here, right? Uh, I'm going to remove the face marker, and then uh, we see there is an option here which says save image. I'm going to click on that, and then this one, I'm going to save uh, this as the airport, right? My, my image is all saved. Give a few seconds, yeah, and it is saved. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google this now. And uh, so this, is, this is how your uh, window is going to look like once you're working on a project. I'm going to click on uh, near shading. This window opens up. I'm going to click on construction perspective. Okay. So, now I get a window here. Uh, you know, I already, I already have a design here, but uh, all these are sample. So, what I'm going to do is just uh, delete all these. And then try and import uh, the design that we, um, the image that we downloaded from Google Earth. So go to file. Um, you see there is something called this import. Once I click on import, uh, it asks me, it gives me an option to import three image file, file from Google uh, Earth And then you see there is an option that says uh, import to ground image. So I click on import to ground image. And then it asks me which uh, image file I want to import them. So I'm going to click on desktop. Because that's where I save my file, so uh, I'm going to click on this image here. I'm giving me a warning, uh, I'm fine with it. I think the system could handle a larger uh, image file, so I'm going to click on S. Uh, if you don't have a good system with uh, graphics card or something, then probably you would uh, need to import a, you know, a smaller uh, uh, image. You know, if you're importing file that's like 4 MB or 5 MB, that takes up a lot of uh, processing power. And uh, your uh, devices might run a little bit slow. So what? Uh, so once you get the image in, uh, you take a look at the image. Don't keep on anything as of now. Just you uh, know, hover the mouse, and uh, you look at the pan on the right side. It's kind of self-explanatory, uh, right? It's asking you to select uh, a point called X1, and then it will ask you to select a point called X2, and then you have to go here and uh, give the difference between those two points. And based on that, your image uh, uh, would be scaled, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know use this area for you know probably building a power plant or something, right? And uh, so what I'll do is I need to I'll I'll use this line over here from here to here as the reference. So I need to find out what is the real world measurement from uh, this point to this point. Right? So I'm going to click here as uh, you know define x points. So I'm going to left click. And then it says uh, choose point two. So I'm going to click here. Right. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go back to Google Earth. Right. I'm in Google Earth now. I'm going to find the actual distance from here to here. So I'll use the ruler tool. Then uh, I'm going to click here. Draw line, right? 
So my actual measurement is 413 meters or 413.24 if you want to be computed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the VSYST and then you see a, a column here and it exports here to see a distance from x1 to x2. I'm going to go here and enter 413.24. Right? Once I've done that, I'm going to click on apply. So once I've done that, I, I made this scale, right? So I'll just uh, save this up for now. Once you have done this, you want to make sure that uh, the image is properly scaled, right? So I go to my uh, measuring tool, put in here, to this point, and then uh, to this point, it says 417.28, so it's not exact, probably we are, we are off by 4 meters, but uh, I think I can live with it. But if you think this is not okay for you, probably just uh, retry it and uh, the bigger image. There is another uh, uh, measurement that I haven't checked. I want to make sure that uh, the image was scaled and uh, it doesn't look like the image was scaled in both of uh, both axes. Um, probably what I will do is measure the distance from here to here. It's uh, 420 meters. I'm going to go here. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's scaled properly. So this is all I need to do. I just go and save and uh, my image is here.